Morning, guys. Morning. It's uh Sunday, the twenty seventh. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's supposed to rain this week. We got a lot of rain in the forecast this week. The only reason I'm out doing what I'm doing today is because these are the these are the three key ones I want to take care of. And then because rest week it'll be a hit and miss thunderstorms and stuff like that. So um, yeah. Anyway, I got the list right here. I got a one acre lot in Josephine. I gotta go plant, I gotta go dig some holes for this lady for tomato plants. And I got a spray job. Well yeah, it's crucial, man. Time is of the essence. Oh uh, yeah. But you see, the thing of it is, guys, you gotta take every opportunity and uh, get what you can, how you can, whatever you can, man. Like I said, uh, we're scheduled to get thunderstorms today, scattered thunderstorms. I don't know where they're going to be at. I ain't even looked at the radar. We really don't got time for that, really, man. But, uh, I, you know, I was going to take off today and relax. But I'm only going to be gone a few hours, a couple hours at the most, three hours. I got one here in my neighborhood, which is about three, well, it's not my neighborhood, but it's like about a, a mile and a half down the road. And it's a big cut. For me, it is, for, for what I do, it's gonna be a big cut. Some of you other guys got those big zero turns. And, uh, anyway, <coughs> I got a zero turn too, but it's in the shop. Getting uh, work done on it and getting tuned up and just getting a body used from some guy. And I was having a few issues with it, so I decided to just take it to somebody that knows what they're doing. Because I sure hell don't know what I'm doing, man. But anyway, uh, I'll be glad when I get that. That way I can try it out. Uh, yeah, it's already 81 degrees right now. I'm supposed to get up to, I think, 97, 98. And then, you know, we got another cool front coming through. I'm not sure when it'll be here. But uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm getting ahead right now. I don't like working on Sundays, but if I have to, if I find it necessary, I will. Because a lot of you know, most of you know that I'm a. I, I do this part time right now. Uh, I work a full time job. Uh oh, he's already out there uh, cutting the grass. I'm trying to cut that ditch. But anyway, I work a full-time job right now during the summer months. We don't. We only work in four, ten, four, eight, uh, four, ten-hour shifts. I mean, four ten-hour days, and I'm off on Fridays, which is a big, 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 big help. Anyway, I decided to just come on over here, and I made a few phone calls yesterday, and see if I could come over and cut the grass. Just basically told them there's thunderstorms. There's gonna be rain and chances this week, and I sent them a screenshot of the weather forecast. And they're like, "Yeah, come on over, man," because they know once it starts raining. Um. Yeah, I got a guy over here walking. Morning, man. Working on Sunday. Got to work on Sunday. <laughs> Anyway, one of the guys I cut his grass, he's out walking. He's a retired ex-military guy. He's a lot older. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, this is a big neighborhood, man. I wish I would show y'all one of these days. Man, these are all three-quarter to acre lots. And, uh... I'm trying to get in over here. I got three in this neighborhood. And, uh... If I can get about five or six more in this neighborhood, it'd be sweet, man. But I'm gonna be patient. It's gonna require a zero turn to do some of these lots. And uh, and I don't mind walking, I don't mind pushing the mower at all whatsoever. It's good for the heart, good for the exercise. You walk and put that put that mower in third 
third and fourth gear, and you can basically jog behind it and walk fast behind that sucker, man. But anyway, uh, trying to figure out which way I need to go. I think I need to go up here, yeah. It's a big neighborhood, man. Big houses, custom homes, three to four hundred thousand dollar houses. People got big. They got big shops out here, big RVs, and big money out here, man. In my eyes, in my in my thinking, if they got big money to spend on uh, big houses and big cars and big campers and stuff, then there's somebody that can afford lawn care out here. Cause a lot of them vacation and stuff look like man just about every house out here has lawn uh trailers and shops and hot rods in the garages and stuff like that but anyway that's beside the point man i'm top just because they got money i'm not gonna price the algae I'm, I'm basically uh just charge what i what i think i'm worth doing it I mean, I'm kind of in a hurry, but I'm kind of not. Cause I don't have a, I don't have a lot on the list, man. I got a mowing job. I gotta go. Did I gotta go? I gotta go to Home Depot today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this lady a a, a solid and uh, plant her tomato bushes because she was in a car accident a while back and she's still in recovery and then rehab and all that stuff. So she can't dig the holes. She's one of my customers. But I gotta go to the Home Depot anyway over there. And, uh. What the hell is going on here? Is this the house? Uh, yeah, this is it. But anyway, I'm here. Um. Yeah, it needs a good, it's, it's not a really crazy, crazy overgrown, but it needs a good shaving. That way it doesn't, if it rains, it won't be all, I don't have to wait another week for it to dry out. I could, I could push mow it with my little mowers, the little 22s I got. And, uh, hold on man, I'm turning the radio down here. But, I'm going to use the big mowers today, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, it ain't too crazy today, but these are, these are just the key ones I got. I wanted to get, okay, because when I get off work, I like to do the little yards that I have out there on my way home, and, uh, it makes sense to me to take my trailer with me in the mornings to work, then when I get off work at 2 o'clock, then I can go ahead and go mow the yards on the way home, so I'll be mowing on the way home then I'll be done hope sometimes I'm done by 5 5 36 depending on traffic too and then a lot of times customers want to come out and talk and bullshit and this and that and sometimes I got time for that sometimes I don't man but I like to try to give them a little bit of time because some of those people man they're lonely and they just want somebody to talk to and listen to for a little bit so I do that man I mean some might not agree with that but I don't care if this is my thing I do what I want when I want however I want Oh yeah, by the way, Gorilla, Gorilla Lawn Care. Uh hope everybody's having a hope everybody has a blessed, blessed day today. Take care of yourselves and uh Yeah, do something nice for somebody, help somebody out that's deserving. Those that ain't deserving, man, I feel sorry for them, man, because they're missing out on a lot of opportunities, man. I hate to say no to people like that, but sometimes they just gotta learn the hard way. I'm and I'm not a heartless person. I help anybody out as long as they're helping them as long as I see that they're helping themselves out <laughs> but anyway uh, I'm gonna probably do another little video back here in the back of me using the the secret my secret weapon I just got recently and I'll show you guys more or less here in a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and just get all the trimming and edging done and I'm gonna mold, mold, I'm gonna mold last, so. And then I'm gonna spray back there in the back. Cause this, uh, they're backed up to a farm, to a bunch of pastures. And they got a lot of that crap, that crazy weirdy weeds and stuff like that growing back there. And I can't really get a mower back there and I don't want a weed eat back there. Cause it's always, it's always got water standing and hell, who knows if there's snakes. Plus it helps me save time. 
I'm gonna spray the shit out of it today. Oh, apologize for the bad word, guys. I'm trying to work on the cussing. I'm not a real bad cusser, but I mean, I do need to, I do need to wash my mouth. Let me go ahead and get started. I told the guy I'd be here at eight. It's eight nineteen. Like I said, I'm not gonna get in no big hurry today. Cause I mean, I should be home by one. Well, we had depends. Twelve thirty, one o'clock. But anyway, Gorilla, this is the Gorilla, Gorilla Lawn Care. Y'all remember to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, remember, if it's a bad thing, you can think about it, but don't do it. Remember, help somebody out. Uh, help lift us, you know, so you see a brother down, man, help him back up. You know, that's what it needs to be. We need to all get back to the doing that, for, man. Anyway, God bless you. I'm out of here. I'm going to get started. I'll get a little bit of footage back there in the back with this super secret, the super secret weapon added to my arsenal. I'm outgrowing. I'm out really. I'm outgrowing. I'm starting to grow, and I pretty much outgrow my trailer. So I'm gonna be in the, in the be uh, shopping for a new trailer here in the next month or two months, or maybe at the end of the season I'll start looking. But anyway, I'm out of here. Thank God there's a portal at next door across the street. Cause man, I tell you. Finding a place to use the bathroom is, a, is one of my biggest things I don't like, man, about mowing. You just can't, you, you just can't, man, sometimes the customers be home, they got cameras. Nowadays, people got cameras in our houses and all that stuff and whatnot. But anyway, thank God for the portalettes. <laughs> and I do got sanitizer right here. Clean my hands because there's no running water anywhere, so. Anyway, I'll get y'all set up a little later. I'm going to do a... <laughs> Show y'all what my, uh, I added to my arsenal, uh, to the Gorilla Lawn Care. God bless y'all. Have a great day. Gorilla's out.